Welcome to the Univex UFP1301 food processor training video. This video has been created as a companion to the instruction manual provided with your machine. This video is in no way a substitute for the instruction manual. Make sure to read and understand your owner's manual before operating the food processor. Important safety reminders. You must be at least 18 years of age to operate, clean, disassemble, or move the food processor. Operation by persons under the age of 18 is prohibited. Make sure all safety devices are in place and working properly. Inspect the machine regularly to ensure all parts are in good working order. Use only the pusher handle and pestle to feed product through the tube on the hopper. Never push product with your hands. Do not overfill the feed tube or use excessive force on the pusher plate. Do not use the machine for processing frozen products, meat or fish with bones, or non-food products. Always pay attention when working with the food processor as the blades are extremely sharp. Always turn off the power and disconnect the electrical plug from the outlet before cleaning or servicing your machine. The Univex UFP1301 is a versatile, high-speed food processor capable of preparing up to 485 pounds of fresh vegetables, fruit, cheese, and more per hour. The compact design makes it easy to install inside every kitchen, and the heavy-duty ventilated motor ensures worry-free continuous operation. Preparing your food processor for use. The UFP-1301 can slice, dice, julienne, grate, and shred different food products in different sizes depending on the cutting discs and plates that you use. Prior to operation, you must first select and assemble the appropriate cutting attachments. First, turn off the power using the rocking on-off button located on the side of the machine. Important. Always shut off the power before installing or changing cutting attachments. After turning off the power, raise the push lever handle. Then, open the hopper by turning the locking knob clockwise and swinging the cover out of the way. For single blade operations, such as julienne cutting, slicing, shredding, and grating, first install the discharge spatula. Lower the spatula onto the disc support shaft and turn it until it seats into place on the pin. Next, select your desired blade. Place the blade onto the support shaft and rotate it until it falls into position. Close the cover and turn the locking knob counterclockwise to secure it. Note, the machine will not operate unless the cover is closed and securely locked into place. Dicing and cubing operations require two cutting plates, both a grid and a blade disc. For operations which require two plates, first remove the discharge spatula. Important: Never use the discharge spatula when using two plates to cut product. After removing the discharge spatula, select the appropriate dicing grid and place it onto the shaft. Align the notch in the dicing plate with the indentation on the side of the body and allow it to drop into place. Then select the appropriate blade disc. Place the blade disc onto the shaft and turn it until it locks into place. Close the cover and then turn the knob counterclockwise to secure it. Your food processor is now ready for operation. Using your food processor. After installing the desired cutting plates and securing the cover, press the rocking on-off switch down firmly to turn on the power. Make sure to properly align the receiving bowl underneath the front exit chute. Safety switches prevent the blades from rotating when the hopper cover is not properly secured or when the pusher handle is raised. This allows product to be easily loaded while the machine is stopped. To continue cutting, simply lower the pusher handle and the machine will start up again. It is not necessary to push the start switch unless the cover was opened or the machine was previously turned off. When cutting larger product, place the product directly into the hopper. 
Push down on the feed plate handle to push the food through the opening and into contact with the blade. For smaller and elongated product, use the feed tube. Turn the pressing pestle and pull upwards to expose the feed tube opening. Insert the product into the feed tube and push it through using the pressing pestle. The machine does not stop automatically when the pressing pestle is removed. This allows product to be processed continuously. Danger! Always use the feed plate handle or the pressing pestle to push product through the feed openings. Never push product with your hands. Cutting Attachments The Univex UFP1301 food processor performs many different functions to meet a variety of needs. There are a total of 24 cutting plates available in four different categories. These consist of slicing plates, available in eight different sizes from 1 to 14 millimeters. Slicing plates can accomplish a variety of tasks from making coleslaw to cutting hard products such as firm fruits and vegetables. Julienne discs, available in four different sizes from 1 to 10 millimeters. Julienne discs can be used for cutting various salad toppings as well as cutting potatoes and making french fries. Grating and shredding plates, available in seven different sizes from 1 to 8 millimeters. In addition to cutting fruits and vegetables, shredding plates can also be used for chopping nuts and grating other food products such as hard cheeses, as well as soft cheeses. Dicing grids are available in five different sizes from 1 to 20 millimeters. Dicing grids are useful for dicing fruits and vegetables for salads and pies, as well as for fine cuisine. Cleaning your food processor. Proper cleaning is an important part of preventative maintenance and essential ensuring the long life of your machine. It is recommended that the machine be cleaned immediately after each use. Important. Always turn off the power and unplug the machine prior to cleaning. First, remove the pushing pestle by turning and pulling upwards. Then, raise the push lever handle. Open the hopper by turning the locking knob clockwise and swinging the cover out of the way. Then remove all installed attachments and set aside for cleaning. Remove the cover by gently pushing towards the back of the machine and lifting it from the side hinge pins. If you have used a dicing grid, Use the cleaning stamp to push all remaining leftovers through the grid before washing it. Take all disassembled attachments to the sink for cleaning and sanitizing. Using a soft wet cloth, wash all components in mild detergent and warm water, thoroughly rinse, sanitize, and allow to air dry. Important. Never run any portion of the food processor through a dishwasher. Use a soft cloth soaked in mild detergent and warm water to clean the motor base assembly. Thoroughly clean the cutting chamber and the ejection chute. Also clean the outside of the machine. After cleaning, use a soft dry cloth to dry the machine. Always properly sanitize your machine after cleaning. Important. To avoid damage, never use sharp or abrasive objects to clean the machine and never immerse the motor base in water. Food Processor Maintenance You should routinely inspect the machine to make sure it is in good working order. Before use, make sure the blades and plates are not damaged or dull. Cutting plates are not sharpenable and therefore should be replaced when worn. On a regular basis, use a drop of food-grade mineral oil to lubricate the push lever shaft. Push the handle up and down a few times to distribute evenly. Also apply a few drops of mineral oil to the cover hinge pins. Move the cover back and forth a few times to distribute evenly. Important. Never use a vegetable spray or cooking oil to lubricate the machine. Troubleshooting 
If the cutting plates will not seat properly, check to make sure that the discs and the disc support pin are clean. If the hopper cover does not lock, check to make sure that the cover is clean and properly installed and secured. If the product is not cut correctly, check to make sure that the blade is not worn. If the product is not ejected properly or is badly cut, check that the discharge spatula has not been installed for a two-plate cutting operation, check that the bowl is not full, and make sure that the ejection chute is not obstructed. If the machine locks, ensure that the product is not too hard or frozen. If the micro safety switches on the pusher handle and the lid do not work, check that they are not dirty. If the machine does not start, check that all safety devices are properly installed and secured. If the machine develops any problems, contact an authorized Univex service agent. Thanks for watching the Univex UFP1301 food processor training video. If you have any further questions, contact Univex at 800-258-6358, sales at univexcorp.com, or visit us on the web at www.univexcorp.com.